<laughs> yeah, let's follow the mushroom trees into the Aurora. That should be the safest way of doing this. Man, I don't like this one bit. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, no, thank you. It's the middle of day as well, so, like, by all means, I shouldn't be afraid of this, but I am. What is that? Sticking out of the top of the water there. Hello? Huh. Just keep going, just keep moving, just keep swimming. I can see the edge of it. My heart's pounding so hard right now. I can hear it. I can hear it. Mm. I don't like this. Hey, thanks for the follow, buddy. It doesn't have a sound, so I usually don't, like, see it. But whenever I look over... Huh. Battle cry, Reaper attack! Yeah, I'm not too much of a fan of this. Life form readings from this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Okay, we're on, we're good. Integrity is low. Fast oh shit. Oh shit. shit. They're <laughs> swarming! I didn't... I didn't get my, uh... Propulsion cannon equipped. What? Oh, shift and tab at the same time. I was running and trying to open the menu. Look at all of them! Okay. This is not gonna do. Hopefully they can't hit me up here. Here. Who's ready to propulse? Get over here. Get over here. Yeet. This is how we do things around here, baby. Oh, hey there. You want to fight? Yeet. So these should have, like, batteries and water and stuff. Good. Look at all the crawlers. Yeet. Yeet. Okay, I'll stop saying that. Whoa, this one's infected. Hello there. I didn't know they could get infected, to be honest. Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain Ooh. human tissues. Yeah, I've noticed. I know this has a battery on it, but I just don't want to deal with these. Alright, that looks like all of them. Cool. Speech 100. What is this one doing? I didn't know they could crawl up walls. Yeet. So this is like the good entrance here, isn't it? I think so. Jesus. Is another one? Yeah. There is. I have plenty of med kits now. I can just knife them and save my battery. Oh, hey, free fire extinguisher. Let's go ahead and use one, why not? Cool. Let's get to exploring. Jeez, it's dark in here. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Hmm. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer Liu identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone, I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. 
sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> Drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help oh. me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. What sentence did I say that was so bad? Hold on, I didn't even re realize that I said something so dumb. Um, which one did I just pick up? This one. Oh. So here we are, finally in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate and send ships to mine resources to build more expensive ships and to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? Cargo bay co code, that's important. Probably. It was in the notes, so I was assuming. Hey, trash can. It's very spooky. Now I can throw away things I don't need. New blueprint acquired. Altera launches the Aurora. Wow, that's uh PDA data. It's a lot. Altera currently operates 9% of all phase gates in the galaxy. If the Aurora's mission is successful, Altera will have outmaneuvered the cable cabal of Mongolian corporations operating a range of outposts and mines in the region. So basically they're uh taking over the the galaxy. Trying to at least, it seems. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is all lore stuff that I really don't care about as much as the, uh, you know, like the alien stuff and all that. So I believe this is actually where we require the propulsion cannon to fit our way through here. Having some trouble. Hey, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I've been trying to stream a lot more too, so we should be doing that more. Um, is this the cargo bay door they were talking about? Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. Well, we know what shot down the Aurora already. You don't have to worry about that. One four five four. Yep. Yeah, we we already been to the alien turret. We know what shot it down, buddy. You can actually parkour over? Oh, well, that would mean that it's not actually required, isn't it? Because I don't think there's any other point. We need to use it, is there? Maybe there is. A, maybe I'm silly. It's a fire. Hello. Water. Speaking of which, slurp some down. You've tried parkouring, didn't work out. I'd be afraid of just like phasing through the floor, to be honest. Integrating new PDA data. Consistently ranked amongst the galaxy's best employers. Began life as a defense manufacturer in the mid 22nd century. National motto: Get what you deserve. Okay, cool. I don't care about. I don't really care about Altera. I think you learn a. Whoa, that was a crusty frame rate. Um, I think you learn more about it in uh, in uh, Below Zero, the second game. You've gone through the ceiling. Yeah, exactly. See, that's what I fear the most. Oh, there's water in the Aurora? Oh, I don't like that at all. There's probably gonna be, like, things in it. Things and items. They really make sure you don't run out of water, do they? Okay. Well, then, let me mix up my inventory here. And let me actually get it to where, like, I like things. You probably won't need the fire extinguisher underwater if I were to guess. This looks good to me. Geronimo! 
Oh, there's biters. Those aren't biters. What are those? I have never seen that. Hello? That one's alive. Jesus Christ, dude. A bleeder? The bleeders. What? Simple pair. <laughs> Off. How many are there? Well, I wanted to read it. A simple parasitic organism, a little more complex than the common space tick, but just as dirty. Space ticks? There's ticks in space? Oh, God. Ductil sac. Used for collection and digestion of blood drawn from the host creatures. Look at that thing. It looks like a squid. Rows of teeth and mandibles used to attach to the skin of the victim behavior. The bleeder's low speed and poor defenses suggest they have evolved primarily as carry-on feeders, but they are also prone to target larger living creatures, which are less likely to notice. Assessment inconvenient and unhygienic. Cool. Jesus, dude. There's more? Great. Well... I'll keep that in mind and have my finger on the four key. Hello? Can't open that. Drive room, Seamoth Bay. Hold on, that sounds like something I want to get into. It's just locked. Oh! I didn't know I'd need the repair tool in here. Interesting. Probably won't need the propulsion cannon in here either. Yoink. Come at me. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, this is a video game log. It's like one of those make your own adventures or something. Or maybe it's V oh. Oh, this might be that VR game they were talking about when they were trying to land on the island. Player two wins. Player two has died from cold and star starvation. Jesus Christ. I saw something I could scan. Hello? I don't really... I didn't come here for titanium. So I'm gonna avoid that, probably. Depth module. Oh, I just made one. Well, that figures. Well, let's get moving. I find I don't have enough, uh, Inventory slots. I'm completely safe now? Oh, okay. I feel like you saying that, you're not saying the truth. <laughs> I feel like I still need to be on guard. Like, obviously, they do, like, what, 5 HP every time they bite you, but that's still not something I'm excited to deal with. I really don't need all these med kits, guys. Hello. Hello. Jeez. New PDA data. It's a good place if you like to live, or if you like to read. About to find the good stuff. I'm fine. Yeah, sure. Or is due to perform a slingshot maneuver around the planet we're on. Category 3 ocean planet, approximately three, 13 months post-launch. This will bring the ship within range of Degasi's last known position. Oh, that's right. So Degasi, or Degasi, I'm not sure how exactly you say it. They actually crashed before the Aurora, which is something I didn't know. And I only found out by researching a little bit since the last, uh, since the last, uh, stream. So they're here from a different crash. Additional aquatic and all-terrain vehicles have been included in Aurora's cargo package for this mission. Degasi crew manifesto has been distributed to senior employees in a separate message. So literally, this planet is just a case of, like, people coming by over and over again to save each other and just keep getting shot down. 
You're telling me you've been on this rig for more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside? Well, now you've only got gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant freaking robot suit. We plain, we've plain got nothing to do till we get Starside to work on the gate. Cabin number one, codes 1869. Okay, that's important. Keeping an eye out for things I could scan. Yeah, see, I thought that too before I actually, like, looked into it a little bit. Because I was wondering, like, how did they have entire, like, basically an entire life here before we even got out and about. And that's because they crashed before us. So, they've probably been here for her. Well, they are, they're dead now. Um, because if you watch the cinematic trailer, they all died. But, uh... Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's about it. They did. Oops. Let's get to it. I think I, did I, I passed up a room somewhere back there. I'll have to... Before I go in here, I want to go back and check that out. Just to make sure I don't miss anything. It's like we came in here. There was like a room on the left here. I'll take all the batteries I can get, to be honest. The drive cool sheet sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Oh, okay. Let's do it. So... Cyclops, engine efficiency! Oh baby, Warning. oh baby. Local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Oh great. So this is where the radiation is coming from then. Alright. We have to fix this bad boy. Uh, more bleeders! Get over here. Yeah, buddy. I see you. You can't hide from me. Where the where did it go? Oh my god, look at them. I'm sure they're hungry. Don't get a lot of humans around here. Unless they already ate them all. Jeez. Look at them all. There's like 50. At this rate, I might as well just wait for them to attach onto me and cut them. I'm trying my hardest. I just don't want to get surprised, is all. I'm going for it. This is a mission. This is the most important mission of my life, is killing all these... Look at them! They eat each other! Don't do that. Hey, at least it'll keep them hungry, or keep them filled, hopefully. <clears throat> yup, he got me. You're dead, right? Cool. I think I got all of them. Jeez, there were a ton. Okay, now we can get to work. Find it better to kill them off. Yeah, me too. Ooh, hold on. You can scan a breach? Oh. The Aurora's drive core is shielded by a thick sh metal shell, which breached in multiple locations shortly after the crash. Once breached, it will continue to leak radiation to the surrounding environment until the breaches are sealed. After that point, the radiation in the environment will dissipate over time. This procedure should be attempted by... Yeah, whatever. Cool. So, does this get rid of the radiation in the nearby area? Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. I don't see much of a point of really doing that, if you want me to be honest. Like, yeah, it gets rid of the radiation, but like, I find, I see, I find the radiation to be a good indicator of, hey, maybe you shouldn't go in this direction as there's probably 50,000, you know, Reapers in the area. 
which I'm I feel blessed to have not have encountered yet. It does. Okay. Just making sure the sea moist isn't destroyed. Y'all said he couldn't get to it since I'm on that ramp, and I I trust you, but I still am wary. To be honest. Containment breach repaired. Oh, really? Jeez. Didn't think the repair tool would run out of battery gear. Of all things, that would have been a sucky thing to run out of battery when you're in the middle of a battle. There's only two. Containment breach repaired. Uh, aren't there like 12? Aren't there like 10 in the crash zone? I recall that. Oh, geez, that's right. I have air that I need to breathe. Remember to go back to the place I left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't this a dead end? This whole room? So, like, I'll have to go back. Yeah, uh, my, my main goal here isn't to get rid of the radiation. My main goal is that prawn suit and the rocket, which obviously is, like, required for the game. So, there's that. I think it'd be fun to try and explore the crash zone that's not around the Aurora. How many people actually do that? Also, how many did she say we have left? I wasn't paying attention. My bad. I'll just inspect everyone individually. Build a base at the Aurora. Yeah, no problem. I thought I saw another biter. Not biter, uh, blood, a leech. They're still floating. Did we get them all? Hello? No, it's not in the voice logs. Okay. I was not paying attention. Oofy. I'm not finding them. Oh, that's disgusting. Can Reapers, or like, can Leviathans hurt your base? Because I've never, I've never built an, a base in an area where it could be attacked. I've, I usually only do it in like the, the grasslands, to be honest. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. Hmm. Other side. Check above water? Oh, can they be broken above water? I didn't even know. Please? Thank you. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I see him. All right, see ya. Yeah, that figures, doesn't it? They can if you're outside the base, but the inside of the base counts as a separate area, so they can't see you. Okay. Interesting. Extinction event avoided. Eh, I'm not sure about that. I think we're still well on our way to an extinction event. So there's like nowhere to go. Radiation levels decreasing. You heard her. Cool. I I get stuck on a lot of the geometry around here. Yeesh. I was about to say, better get into the water. I like how the music changes whenever you finish it much nicer in here now with a little bit of music I mean yeesh dude hello room hello prawn suit hello there let me just get a little bit of a okay I see it I see how we're doing 
There we go. That is piece two of four. I didn't know I've scanned a piece before, to be honest. Here we go. What am I stuck on? Jeez. Sanctioned event will appear on May 31st. He's going to be in Godzilla's new movie. Oh boy. And here's the last piece. Oh, I guess I was lucky I found it. Please let me. Okay. There we go. I think you can't get to it unless you actually, like, get rid of some of the fire. Hello? Jeez. Prawn suit. So what do we need for that, then? Um... Jeez, where can I find it? Prawn suit. Diamond aerogel. Aerogel is the only thing we don't have yet, and you can get that in, like, some of the areas where we're nearby, I think. So we should be okay for that. I think we're all Gucci in the hoochie, to be honest. Is there a way to get up there? Hmm. Just walk in the fire. Yeah, no big deal. I feel like the living quarters is probably an important place to get to. Picking up the faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. Black box signature, you say? Interesting. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, there we go. Beautiful. I realized I could just have used my propulsion cannon, but that's fine. Tables, hey -o. Now we're partying. Radio signal? Okay. Calm down there, buddy. Counter? I want all of these things, baby. We're going to make the darndest cool base you ever did see. Today's menu. Space Bear Valu? So there's... Okay, so they eat tardigrades. Alright. Cottage pie or nutrient block. I'm sure the nutrient blocks don't sound, don't taste too good. Um, dried fruits and nuts. Darn. That's not the most wonderful of menus. This looks like a much better menu. Hello. Barbecue sliced beef, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Can't forget the stay cool, keep calm poster. Uh... Yeah, I'm doing fine for fi fire extinguisher stuff. Uh, there isn't anything over here that I need to scan, I don't think. So I think we're good. Just go ahead and get out of here. Supply. Water. Oh, baby. Oh, that's filtered water. So it's not even as good as disinfected water. Get out of here. Nutrient block, that'll be important. Cool. Just in case I ever run out of food while I'm out here. I don't need these first aid kits, dude. Looks like that's not a door I'm going to be able to get into. Just taking my time exploring. exploring. Cabin 1, we do have that somewhere. Notes to self, right? No. Here it is. 1869. There we go. Lots of supplies. We'll never run out. Double bed. Hey, baby. We don't have that yet. That'll be nice so I don't have to explore at nighttime. New blueprint acquired. Responsible autonomous relationships. 
Integrating new PDA data. All the good things in life are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relations when there is a fair exchange of value. Support, motivation, affection, nothing good is ever free. If every physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier, it would, be, it would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Personal relationships are the same. It is, the, it is important for people to get what they need from multiple sor sources. Sources. If a person finds a better source of the goods they require, they are not wronging their original supplier by changing their purchasing arrangements. This is a weird way to, to explain a relationship, though. Okay. That's a that's a very capitalist way. Okay. To look at a relationship. And I that creeps me out. That's a little creepy, dude. Didn't like that. Yeah, someone got in a breakup. Jeez. Common bag for transporting items. Hold on, can I like put stuff in there? I can't put stuff in there, can I? Hold on, I can assign it a quick slot. What'll that do? Oh, you can like set it up somewhere so you can put things in it. Okay. Open storage. So like, can I put, say all these batteries in it and then pick it up? Okay, I can't pick it up. So it's kind of a pointless storage then. I'll grab one just because I might as well. But, huh, that's weird. Anything else in here? A blue cap? We need that. Yeah, it's just a chest, but, like, it's smaller. It's like, what's the point? Single bed. Is this here just a counter behind it? It's an interesting way to reuse an asset. I don't think there's anything in here. Of any importance. that They use the shelves to work as benches. Interesting. Yeah, it's using some assets in interesting ways. Yoink. I don't need all the first aid kits. What's your deal, dude? Hmm. Is this the captain's quarters? Yeah. I think we have this one as well. 2679. Here we go. I'm stuck. Oh my god. Good lord. That's just some environmental storytelling right there. Integrating new PDA data. Here's the Neptune escape rocket. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening us to recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data Please respond with rescue solution. Out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest base. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find in situ, but it's going to need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications Relay Offline. Hmm. Integrating new PDA data. Interesting. That's more stuff that I don't care about. Um. Hold on. There was one thing that I grabbed. The, uh, Captain Zog. Captain Hot Dog Hollister. Craig McGill simulator. Okay. Is 
Wow. He got absolutely destroyed. Also, who's the girl? I want to see her. I want to try and find a picture of the girl because I wasn't paying attention to it earlier. Yeah, there's like nothing in here I really want. Hold on, don't I have like an empty battery? Yeah, I'll drop that. Hmm. Thing is, I kind of want all this. There, now I have some room. Now, oh, yeah, there she is. Jane Altera. Integrating new PDA data. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that That's I want true. to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Okay. So... You cheated on her. And... Oh. She got mad, and... Wow, someone's in the wrong. Wow. Okay. Also, bisexual representation, hell yeah. What are we doing here? A lot of these are just kind of like, here's another 50 med kits you probably won't need. Yeah, okay. Got room for two more things. I, w I definitely want the posters, because, like, this is the only place you can get the posters, right? Uh... Are we done here? I think we're done here. Uh, we need to explore the wa- Oh, bad idea. We're safe. Okay, good. I'm putting up fires. What do you- What, what do you mean? I'm not getting rid of the fires that aren't in the way. Are there any prawn modules here, by the way? Or did I already grab one? Cyclops engine efficiency. This looks like very not safe to jump into, by the way. But I'm fine. Oh, never mind. That does hurt. Silly me. Alright. So we looking for like a passage in here? There's something. I think I found it. That was easy. That was easy. This is scary. I don't like this one bit. I'm looking for things to scan still, because I would like to find a modification station if it's in here, but I doubt I'll find one. That'd be a weird thing to have, wouldn't it? Black box data. Hello? Integrating new PDA data. Impact detected. Life pod pays. Life pod bays on starboard side compromised. Outgoing communications compromised. Emergency evacuation initiated. Manually Manual pil piloting transferred to Captain Hollister. Life pods 1 to 25 launched successfully. Entering planetary at atmosphere. Massive impact register. Drive course shield compromised. Emergency bounce back received from 8 life pods on planet surface. Human life signs detected over long range at T plus 8 hours. Personnel encountered for non essential systems maintenance. Chief Riley Robinson. That's us, isn't it? Isn't the main character named Riley? It's 
so that's the only one that's alive, I guess. I don't know. Hello, fire just right above my head. Good lord. Well, let's continue exploring. Whoops, wrong item. That's the repair tool. No modification station here. Cool. Well, we'll have to find that elsewhere. That's like the main thing I'm missing now. Like, that's the only thing that's very important that I do not have. Oh, come on now. Hello. Let me get some air before I explore this. I'm surprised that they don't have you hurt from touching that ceiling. Interesting. Code for another door? I don't rightly know what that code is. Oh, there it is. Integrating new PDA data. What's all this then? Oh, okay. What was it? 6483? Ooh, wow, that was some framage. Oh, I have to open it. My bad. Arm? Hello. What? Oh, that's an entire novel, dude. No thanks. Propulsion cannon. Okay. Sample analyzer. Non-functional. Yeah, but it's like aesthetic-y, though. I could make myself a little lab. If I really wanted to. Oh, they're big items? Aw. Well, that kind of sucks. I can't get something that big out of here. Can I open this door? Yeah, I can. Cool. I'll take one more looky in there. And then I think we're, like, pretty much completely done. Repulsion cannons are useless. That's what I was thinking. That's a weird thing to have a specific room dedicated to. But whatever floats your boat. Well, in this case, whatever sinks your boat, really. Isn't it? Yeah, there's like nothing else in here. Huh. Well, that's fine. Huh. I really want to keep everything else I have. Just, you know, souvenirs. I don't know why, where or why I got a ruby before coming in here, but that's how life is sometimes. I think we've completely explored the area. I think we're, like, done here completely. Yeah, we can uh, get out of here. Honestly, I was expecting to find a lot more coming through here. I mean, I got the prawn and I got the Neptune. That's really all you need, right? But, like, I don't know. I was expecting maybe a nuclear reactor would be cool. Be nice to find in here. Thermal. A thermal uh, power. Because I know those exist in the game. But I, uh, I've obtained neither. As of right now. Kind of sucks. Is there anything else in here? of worth. I'm not so sure there is. It's looking like a no. Okay. I think we're done. Hold on, go back, go back to the lab. Okay, okay, okay. I, g I hear ya. Let's go. All right, what am I looking for? Do 
large sample flask. Oh, baby. Hold on. Oh, that would take another four slots, dude. There's another way forward. Oh, there's air. Can clip through the ceiling. Is it me or does it feel like it just got really dark? Uh, where is it? <laughs> what was that noise? I heard someone talk. I heard a voice. Did y'all hear that? I could- oh. I could have swore I, ho I heard a voice in my left ear. I don't like that one bit. Oh my god, that's creepy. Y'all didn't hear it? Oh my god. It must have been something on my desktop, maybe? But like, I, I checked. There was nothing. This music's really pretty. Oh. No getting past that. Let's spray it. That'll do the job. This music is creepy as hell, dude. Get out of here! Jeez. Ugh, maybe. I could have swore I heard a voice. Like a low, like, kind of radio-ish voice in my left ear. That scared the bejeebus out of me. dude. Seems to be nothing but crabs here. I don't have any medkits. Yeah, I should be careful. As I was saying, I should be careful. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie, um, it's nighttime. And I don't particularly uh, care too much to go into the water at this time of night. So uh, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this situation. Also, wow, that just loops around? Hold on, what? Oh, this is just another entrance. Perfect time to leave, yeah. No, I'm gonna veto that decision, buddy. I think I'm just gonna look at all my nice. Here's a light if you need it. Jeez, imagine falling out of that. You're dead, dude. You might as well just give up. Pause the game, exit. Well, I'm gonna save now, because we've just explored the entirety of the thing. So, how's everyone doing? Where's the moon? I can't see it from this angle. Sunk to the ocean bed, 250 meters deep. Is that in the bulb zone? You're gonna walk the entire way back. Yeah, that's true. I, I did avoid that. The sea moth appears to be in one piece. Oh, I hear that. There's a crab. <gasps> ah, Jesus Christ, that scared the fuck out of me. I'm also like 
kinda low on HP. How much damage does a Reaper do if it bites you? Not that I really have to that I worry really have to worry, right? Because I'm just gonna be in the sea moth. Low. Let's see how much damage. Cool. Sun sunrise, not sunset. Boy. Cool. I'm nearly full, but like, doesn't it do like 80 damage or something? 80% HP? I don't know. I remember something like that doing that. Maybe that's the Ghost Leviathan. 